Wrath of the White Witch Remastered. Oh boy, it's been a little bit... Like, a little bit. Last episode was quite the doozy for me to record. But I'm not going to get into it much. Anyways, I'm going to do what I said we'll do last episode. Do I have the... Yeah, I have enough funds. Let's go take a nap in here. Welcome to one of Cat Cradle's chains of perennium inns. We pride ourselves in our practicality and pricing. Yeah, let's stay the night. Only thing Cat's... Cr Many thanks. I shall prepare you for your fine our you for our fine suite. It is a heaven of simple luxury. Get cooled by the sea breeze. You might find some of our other guests to be somewhat rough and or even parental peration, but please pay them no heed. Eh, did your Mrs. Compendium just rather lolly boy? Oh, what's that then? Looks like the memories of Seafarer who stayed here have restored one of its pages aided tidy. I trust you have another perfect night's sleep at the cat's cradle. Travel safely now. Good chest. Milk chocolate? I might have to give that to my mite as a bit of a reward for him. Let's go feed him. Hello, my little mite be mite. We'll treat after last episode of you performing well. Now, let's continue on with the main story now that we're done and slept. Time to get ourselves a boat, eh? Okay? Everybody here is wearing a swimsuit, huh? Yes, no wonder it colored us the seaside paradise of the south. But they're not dressed correctly. Uh, oh, very disrespectful. Huh? Uh, Knickers, it's like Ding Dong Dell all flipping over again. Jesus. Oh no, what is the disturbance? Ah, Governor, the very person we need. We are here. We are visitors to our town, I take it. Know that all who enter this place are required by law to wear the appropriate attire. I speak, of course, of the bathing suit. Uh, <laughs> we ain't flipping. We ain't planning on moving here, is it? We're just passing through, like nonetheless, the law must be obeyed. The dark days of the past cannot be revisited. We want to have
Check me out, dolly boy. I look the business in this little number. Huh? Oh, that's marvellous. <laughs> what do you think?
Okay, we are back. And this immediately shows up. So where exactly do we need to go? Were you listening, Lord Ears? To where the Calopia is? Is it? The palace, man, the palace. It's beyond the main square, I'll show you the way. Huh? Hmm? Yikes! <laughs> What's wrong, Esther? Nothing, I just had a funny feeling we were being followed for a second. I'm sure it's nothing. Let's get going, shall we? Sure. By the beards of the Almighty, the regal lines, majestic curves of the nostril, your nose, is every respect the same, the same as hers. I'm sorry. Please, let me, you must let me study it. What? Who are you? Ah, forgive me, I am but a humble artist. I'm currently painting the portrait of one who mo you most, uh, most striking resemblance. You look like the pair. I look like the person in your portrait. Indeed. Alas, I'm on my own the meter in the flesh. Will you not allow me to study you a little more? If you must, go ahead. Yes. Ah, so it's more like this. The line to the jaw is key. Yes, of course. Thank you. I am in your debt. No, just what I must do to finish my masterpiece. You are my eternal gratitude. Uh, that's alright. You are very welcome. I must return to my studio right away. Farewell. Wow, I wonder who this person is who looks like me. Whoever it is, the artist certainly seems to think she's rather beautiful. Cranky, these artist types are a bit intense, ain't it? Not to mention a bit flippin' weird. Huh? What do you mean? Oh, nothing, just that, you know, he's a bit of a funny one. Did you not think so? Just me, was it? Right all I'll shut my big mouth, shall I? So, time to get moving, is it? Sure, let's go. But I get this underwhelming feeling that someone wants to sell me something. Blindness be gone. Tidy, this here is the palace. Let's get ourselves inside, shall we? Halt, you may not pass. Think you could just walk into the palace, palace with, for our most revered Calafia unannounced? What seems to be the problem here? Master Abul! These miscreants were attempting to enter the palace without permission. Is that so? Wait. You're the Babana merchant's daughter, are you not? I'm a bull, vice of the esteemed Calafia. Father's efforts to supply her majesty with Babanas are, as ever, most highly appreciated. I had heard you were unwell. It seems that you have recovered. Yes, I'm much better now, thank you. There's exciting news. Tell me, child, what business do you have at the palace? Well, sir, you see, we need a ship, and we can't get one without a letter of passage from the Calafia. You and your friends wish to journey to the lands across the sea? I sympathize, and I would really love to arrange an audience for you. However, is something wrong? Afraid the Calafia is indisposed. Much as it would please her, she is currently unable to hear the requests of any of her subjects. Oh, that's too bad. Apologies, Burr. But she has requested that she not be disturbed under any circumstances. I guess we'll have to wait until after that. Would that you could, but our afternoon snack is immediately followed by our second lunch. And after that, then comes our afternoon s late afternoon snack. Uh, is there any time when she's not eating? Alas, her majesty's miraculous hunger dictates that she dines even during her sleeping hours. This is why I'm forced to spend my every waking hour pr procuring her most delicious beloved food. Ah, but I must be going. Most beloved food. I wonder what that could be. Give me. I must make the necessary arrangements before the merchant supplies are exhausted. Most definitely sorry that I am not able to grant you an audience. Curses! I must hurry. If I'm not fair, Majesty's next meal in good time, she will most she will be most displeased. Master Bull has spoken. Leave this place. 
Looks like we don't have much choice, Oliver. Come on, we'll come back later. So the Calafia has a very special favorite food, is it? Hey, I bet if we found out what it is and took some to her as a present, we'll be allowed to see her. It's a neat idea, Esther, but we don't even know where her favorite food is. Oi, oi, Ollie boy. You know how we can find out, don't you? Um. Come on, slow coach. We go to your world and find this soulmate, ain't it? Of course, we just find a soulmate and figure out what their favorite food is and give some to the Calafia. How do we find out who the Calafia's soulmate is? I've never seen her before. So we need to find out what the Calafia looks like, but we can't go and meet her. But we can't meet her. How are we supposed to find out what she looks like? I saw her once in a parade when I was little, but it was so long ago I can't remember anything about her. What do we do? Jesus. We don't know what the Calafia's favorite food is, and we don't know what she looks like. We have to I have to confess, I'm completely out of ideas too. Wow, the stick is making my head hurt, man. Tell you what, let's go down to Cat's Cradle and sleep on it, shall we? Well, I guess I am kind of tired. The Cat's Cradle is near the entrance to town. Okay, let's rest for a while. Before we do, I swear I saw something. Well, besides this chest. So, hello. Let's see. No, no. Spirit medium. Nice to meet you again. Did you have fun crossing the desert? Man, it was flipping boiling, man. Boiling for you, baby. It's sweet. I'm a ghost, and ghosts don't feel the heat. So there. What are you doing here, Horus? Amazing, they're squirting out milk. All the milk a boy can drink. They're, they're what our mouth is famous for. The spicy smell coming from that food is mixing with smoke milk. It's strange. Ah, you think so? I kinda like it. Yeah, there's still loads of spells you don't know yet, are there, Oliver? Well, I'm trying, it's just that my wizard compendium is kinda. Uh, most pages are missing. Missing? Oh, yeah, I gave I had to give you the page for Spirit Medium, didn't I? Uh-huh, when Mr. Drippy first gave it, it to me, the only spell inside was Gateway. At least the pages have been torn. I bet it was that idiot Shadar's doing. Alright, I suppose I'd better help you fill it back up again. Thank you, hadn't I? Tidy, there's generous. Maybe I was wrong about you being a stingy little pigeon after all. I'm not just gonna hand over a load. Had a load of pages over, if that's what you're thinking. Oliver will have to prove his visiting comprehension skills first. With his companion to the full of spells, there are also stories in there where we can't find the sages over the centuries. But those have probably been torn out too. The stories are pretty powerful after all, they might inspire people to stand up to them. I'm going to give you one to get you started. Have a read, it's one of my favorites. I will see you again, Horus. After I finish having a nap at Cat's Cradle. Welcome to the Palace of Pampering, the cream of Cat's Cradle establishment. Oh my! Hey. I must apologize! Oh, oh, please, you must excuse me! Is it finished? Is it, it is really indeed. The paint finished? is scarcely dry, but it is completed at last. Oh, how I long to see it! Now, please, oh. hang it over here. Isn't that the artist who... Yes, it is. I wonder how his picture turned out. At last, the grand unveiling! Oh, my beloved Kaulifa! So the person he thought I looked like was... the Kaulifa? There's fancy. It's not every day you get compared to royalty. 
<laughs> now feast your eyes upon the divine beauty of her most admired majesty. Huh? <laughs> but that's... Oh, it is divine, truly divine. A matchless beauty takes one's breath away. Oh, please, with it. Please, why is it worth twice what I promised to pay you for it? Beards of the mighty, truly. We shook up, but we shook upon it, did we not? Perhaps next time. I see. Excuse me? Hmm? Y yes? I don't look anything like a... You said I looked like a... Misunderstand, Lenny. It's not a picture of you, merely. Mr. Drippy. Eh, what is it, man? This is getting the inter- <laughs> This is just getting interesting. We need to get him out of there right now. I just realized who we need to see. You did, eh? I sure did. Miss Lena is the Scalipia soulmate. I just know she is. Of course she is. There's clever of you, Ollie boy. Thanks you, Mr. Drippy. When I saw that picture, I knew right away. I do. Let's get moving, shall we? I don't feel tired all of a sudden. Me neither. Hey, Esther, come on, we have to go. Huh? <laughs> I look absolutely nothing like a... Do I look that fat to you? I'm not fat. <laughs> I'm still kind of angry, huh? What do you mean? I'm not angry in the slightest. Yeah, and I'm six foot flippin' six. Looks like we better leave her to it. I guess we should, huh? Alright, let's gateway then. I'm pretty sure this is also the first time Esther has ever been to Oliver's world. So this is gonna be an experience and a half. Huh? The door is closed. Looks like the shop ain't open yet. I'm sure if we wait right here, she'll come along soon. It's time to open already. Someone's coming. Oh, hello, Eva. Myrtle, hi. How are you? Are you feeling better now? I am. It's all thanks to you, Oliver. What are you doing here? Do you need something from the store? Wait a moment. I'll just open it for you. Who's this girl? I feel like... Like you know her somehow. Yes, and she just looks just like me. It's like my long-lost twin or something. She looks more like me than the stupid old Calathea. Can she not see me or something? There is perceptive of you. She can't see you, nor me neither. Really? So I'm invisible? What a strange feeling. Of course you're invisible. You're from another world, ain't it? Huh? Did you say something, Oliver? Uh, no. No, I didn't. Anyways, how come you're here at Miss Leah's store, Myrtle? <laughs> I work here now. Miss Leah and my mom are friends, and when she heard that I was better, she said I should come work for her. Gee, that's real nice, Fair. Said Myrtle, is Miss Leanna around? Sure, she's busy training right now, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. What? Miss Leanna training? That's right, she started running. Is she on a diet? <laughs> no, silly, she's exercising so that she can eat even more. Huh? How do you mean? <laughs> Myrtle, I'm back! <laughs> Why, if it isn't young Oliver, hello, dearie! Morning, Miss Liana. Well, I can't wait any longer. Would you? Yes, me, Liana. I'll go get it for you right now. Oh, it's no good. I can't wait that long. I have some in the store. You stay out here and clean or something. Why, I've never seen anybody so crazy about their favorite food. What is that? Did you say favorite food? What's that? What was that? Did she say favorite food? Oi, Oli boy, I bet it's the same as the Calafias. Right, let's go find out what it is. See you soon, Myrtle. Myrtle must be so confused. Miss <coughs> <coughs> uh, Layla, <coughs> what is she eating? It's cheese. A whole lot of cheese. 
That's right, dearie, and it's not for sale. None of it. It's all for little old me. Quick, Ollie boy! She'll scoff the whole lot if you're not careful. Hurry up and grab some! Sharpish! Okay. Please, Miss Layla, could you give me a piece of your cheese? Uh, uh -huh. You know I'd do anything for you, dearie, but Please, not that. Just oh, one no, piece. No, no, no. Just one no, giant I said little piece. Heave, man. Mine. Heave with all your might. Have it. I'll Come never on, let Oliver. you have it. It's, it's Go mine. On. Mine, oh. I tell you. All oh, mine. Oh. Kind of a shock, huh? Sure is. I had no idea. I had no idea she was so obsessed. <laughs> it's better not to go near her when she's eating cheese. I know that now. Myrtle! Myrtle! Sounds like she needs my help. I better go inside. Goodbye now. Cheapers, what do we do now? Miss Leanna's store is the only place in town that sells cheese. Oliver, what's wrong? Oh, hi, P. <laughs> we kinda need some cheese. Cheese? That's right, it's the Calafia's favorite food. Who is she? Who is he talking to? Must be his imaginary friend again. Here we flip and go. Huh? We can make it. Make our own cheese? Yes, with your magic. Lots and lots of cheese. But I can't. I don't know how. Yes, you do. Just try. Just try? You really think it's that easy? Yes! But do I even have a spell that I can use for that? Hey, wait! She's gone. Have fun flipping talking to your imaginary friend, did you, Wally Boy? Better than talking to your real friends, was it? Huh? Imaginary friend? Me, P. P? Who's that? What do you mean? She's right here. Um, I didn't see anyone. Maybe only you can see her, Oliver. Really? But how come? Or maybe it's just like how Myrtle can't see me, but I can see her. You must be right, you know. I've never seen this P either. Anyways, what did P say to you, Oliver? Oh yeah, she told me I can use my magic to make some cheese. What's that? Make it with magic, you say? Well, she may be too shy to let us see her, but she ain't afraid to stick her neck out and buy advice-wise. You mean it won't work? Nah, man, it'll work. The whole point of magic is to make the impossible possible, ain't it? But I guess it's difficult without the right ingredients, huh? We do have them. We do? Of course we do. Back in Alma Moon, the fountains of milk. So we can use magic to turn the milk into cheese. Oh, that we can do tidy! Right your old boy way back to our world, shall we? Let's go straight for the fountains of milk and try it out. They're in the main square back in Alma Moon. And we will do that next episode. Jesus. What do you have to say about this, Trippy? There's shitloads loads of cars around by here, man. Not that that's surprising, I suppose. This is Motorville after all. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and save. Thank you all so much for watching, and until next time, take care.